What is up, y'all? It's the homie Koru. What it do? Back with another video. Arguably the first video, almost. Um, super, super excited for this video. Um, if you watched my last video, I talked about kind of where I came from and how I got here. And so um, I've been wanting to make videos on manifestation, magic, hermeticism. And so this is going to be the start to all of it. And we're just going to start off with the fundamentals. What is magic? And so I think the good, a good place to start at the very beginning would be that fundamentally, basically, in a nutshell, you create a vision and you manifest your vision. That's it. That's all magic is. And so a lot of people, I would, I would say, have different words for this. You know, we try to name things. Um, but having a vision in your mind and having the vision manifest is basically magic. And I prefer to call it magic. You could call it manifestation, um, visualization. Um, you know, there's different ways to talk about this phenomenon in our reality, I guess. But I prefer to call it magic because it's dramatic, which helps impress upon the subconscious. Um, and because I mean, that's one of the main ones right there, to be completely honest. Um, but there is a huge um, sort of line of magic and history and all that. And so I do like to kind of keep that available and to kind of reference that as well. So that's why I like to call it like magic outright, you know. Um, but moving forward, um, there are there's a book called the Kybalion. In the Kybalion, there are seven hermetic principles, the seven hermetic laws. And the first hermetic law is the law of mentalism, which states that all is mind. The universe is mind. Um, so basically, you could kind of say that the first spell almost, which again, I like to refer to it like this, but there are more mundane ways of talking about this. But if we start from the universe being mind, then the first sort of spell or the first manifestation was creating the universe almost, if you will. So basically, I'm going to get into like kind of the fundamentals of how this process works. Um, the the We'll get into it. Well, I'm going to do a whole video on the uh, hermetic laws, but um, basically we need to kind of like hone in on this part of reality, which is I'm going to have you go through a exercise real quick. If you're listening or if you're watching, try to go ahead and do this. Just take a few breaths and relax. Close your eyes. If you know how to meditate, go ahead and slip into a meditative state. Clear your mind. Now, I want you to raise your right hand. Okay, and now lower it. Okay, now we're going to break down that very simple action. And if you break it down, even though I said to raise your hand, you still had to visualize or think about raising your hand before you did it. So if we start over, clear your mind. Now I want you to try to raise your hand without thinking about raising your hand. And I'll f I would bet basically everything that you cannot raise your hand without first thinking about it. So of course this seems simple, um, but breaking it down into simple, simple things build into complex things. And I would encourage you to be mindful of the amount of things that you have to think about before you actually do them and the amount of control you have over the things you think about and then do. And this is basically the whole idea is the universe is not physical. The universe is mental. And this physicality is a aspect. It's a transient aspect of the universe. It's not that it's not real, but it's just that it's a transient aspect of the universe. But the core reality happens mentally first. 
And of course, I mean, somebody might be like, well, I drove to work and I didn't even think about it. And I got there and I didn't think about that. You know, I wasn't trying to not think about it, but I still did it. And yes, that can happen. But you also have your subconscious mind. You've got your conscious and your subconscious mind. They work together. And um, we're going to talk a lot about the subconscious mind in future videos, but the subconscious mind is still part of your mind. That's what controls your heart, your inner organs, the things that you don't consciously think about. Um, but it is part of your mind that is controlling these things. So that would be the only exception. Um, but um, if you look at everything that is made by humans, created by humans, you're probably watching this video on a computer or a phone. These things all started out as thoughts. They all were ideas first, and then the ideas became manifest into physical reality. And so everything that you could find that you could look at, I'd, I'd genuinely challenge you to try to find something that didn't start as a thought first. And of course, with physical reality, you know, there is sort of like a, this is a proposition of how the whole universe got to be here. You know, I'm not making any bold claims about the origin of the universe, but by the way of hermetic thinking and hermetic tradition, the universe is mind and physical reality was born out of that by the mind, the all mind, and everything that we make all starts in our mind first. So... In a nutshell, that is what magic is, is that you create a vision in your mind and then it becomes manifest. So, you know, the um, I'm going through my notes. I haven't done any cuts in any of my videos so far. I got notes for all these videos and now I'm like <laughs> jumping around because I'm so excited. Um, so basically, one thing that I um, have heard before that has really, really stuck with me as I've been testing the ideas and proving them out for myself is that a great way to express it is that what you think about, you bring about. And if you, I'll notice throughout my day, sometimes I'll even think about, I'll think about having a conversation with myself, not even thinking about whatever. And then boom, I'll actually end up having that conversation with somebody. I mean, and you know, there's something to be said about the amount of time it takes something to manifest, which, um, you know, the, the more grandiose it is, the more complex it is. It's just like a seed. You can't plant a redwood and expect it to be a hundred feet in a day or whatever redwoods grow to. I, I don't really know, but, um, it, everything has its origin in thought, in the metaphysical, and then it becomes manifest. And so um, there are a lot of different ways to say this, and I like referring to it as magic. Um, you know, there's traditional Wicca, hoodoo, uh, they really always talk about this as like casting spells, um, and in recent times, like the uh, Law of Attraction, The Secret, I'm pretty sure that's just like the book that talks about the Law of Attraction. I'm not a secret guy or whatever, but um, those are all different ways of talking about the same thing. And from a lot of the things that I've said about ancient mythology as well, I mean, everyone is all talking about the same process. We just ascribe different words to it, um, which I love the Tao. I'll probably going to talk about the Tao a lot, but it reminds me of that verse in the Tao where it says, that which can be named the Tao is not the Tao. Um, but we're all pointing to this reality that we can experience, which is the way that our reality actually works. Um, but very simply, like we could start simply and go insanely complex and it works everywhere in between. At its total core, your mind is your most valuable asset. What you put in your mind is what you are putting to manifest in your life. And so there are a lot of different types of individual and group cultures, personal and individual and group beliefs. And there's, of course, people are going to think, well, that's too simple. That's dumb. That's ridiculous. But according to the law of magic, the law of reality, 
I would argue that that's what you're tuned to. That's what you have in your mind. That's a belief system and a programming that is within your subconscious and coming to your conscious mind. And so that is type the type of energy that you're manifesting. If you're like, well, that's dumb. There's no way that could be real, you know, because that's kind of the beauty of this whole thing is whether or not you believe it to be real, it still works. I mean, that's which is basically like science right you don't have to believe it but it is belief i mean it's it can get kind of complicated trust me it's all right we're gonna try and move really slow um which talking about your belief system is that um i would be very mindful of the types of things that you think and usually as children we are given a set of beliefs it's not really up to us because we're born and we grow up into cultures and families and so we are given these beliefs and they become part of our subconscious and they become part of what we manifest. Um, and so I would highly encourage everyone to con consider what you do believe and consider what types of things that you think, because what you think about, you bring about. And if you can change your mind, you can change your life. And I really, truly do believe that if you can change your mind, you can change your life. And I would also recommend not to just believe me because that would defeat the whole purpose. And uh, I would highly recommend with all of the videos that I'm making and putting out, test them. I am not afraid to be wrong and I want to learn as well, but I would, I think one thing that a lot of people get wrong is they try to just convince people that they're the right ones, right? They're, I'm right, this is what it is, you're dumb, you don't get it, and I do not want to push anything on anybody. And I do not think that you should, I don't, I absolutely don't think you should just listen to me and take it as fact. I think that you should dig deeper. And, and if this is the first you've ever heard of this concept, I think you should try to test it out. Try, try something, um, try to monitor your thoughts and try to see if you can start finding any correlations. And I would be very careful about what you choose to believe in. And I wouldn't, just believe anyone. I really, really, really think that's a huge part of what I believe and how I think. And I think it's proved well for me. Um, but belief, your mind, your thoughts, that's the whole basis of, of magic and hermeticism. And what you think about, you bring about. You change your mind, you can change your life. Um, if you want to dive in, I would recommend reading The Kybalion by The Three Initiates. Um, it, it has the seven hermetic laws in it. It's got a lot of really kind of, I would say a pretty good starter information, like start here, move forward to something new. Um, and of course I'm going to be doing a whole series on the seven hermetic laws at some point. Um, but I definitely wanted to just try and get a basis of like, here is magic. Here is manifestation. Your mind is your reality. What you think about, you bring about. You can change your mind and that'll change your life. You are manifesting your life currently. Magic works right now. You're, you're in the place that you're in right now because of your mind, because of your subconscious beliefs. That is the secret to the whole thing is you manifest with your current vibration. You always are manifesting your current vibration. And so in order to manifest anything, you change your current vibration by changing your thoughts. Um, and so that's the foundation. That's the basics for magic. Um, if you're interested, if you want to see more, if you're if you're down, if you like the content and you want to stick around, please consider subscribing. This is YouTube. We all know how it works. Like, subscribe, comment, tell your mom, send it to your dog, whatever. We know how it goes. But that's going to be it for this video. I'm super excited in case you couldn't tell. And I am really, really looking forward to moving, moving forward <laughs> and uh, to keep putting these out for you guys. And I'd love some feedback too. So let me know and I'll see you in the next one.